Have you ever had a nightmare uh, first date? This guy, like when I got to the place, he had already been sitting there for like 10, 15 minutes and made sure that we sat at the bar instead of at a table. And I was like, well, this is kind of weird, but sure. And then throughout the whole conversation was like touching the small of my back. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. We mm. literally just met. And then he would like rub my shoulder and I kept kind of like ducking away. And even the bartender could tell something was weird and then stopped coming over. Oh. And I was like, wait, no, no, you're you're the bad person here. You're supposed to <laughs> you're be supposed helping. supposed to stop this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, look, and I'll get the drinks. You get the food because uh, I don't want to owe this dude anything. I never want to see him yeah. again. He's like, no, that's okay. You can get it next time. I'm like, I don't think you understand. Oh, <laughs> see no. Next time. Social cues. Because <laughs> no. it wasn't even like, I don't know, the kind of. It was just the touching. Like, ugh. I had a guy who brought his uncle to the movie theater. What? what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is this like in high school great. or junior high or something? <laughs> uh, Last it was in week. college. <laughs> he was not sitting with us. He was sitting down a couple, a uh, couple rows down. But yeah, and then he was like, he "Hey, do you want to grab him? something to eat?" Yeah, and. <laughs> The uncle was y'all's chauffeur? <laughs> I was 19. <laughs> You're making it oh, worse. Also, chauffeur <laughs> and shy. How old was he? 20. <laughs> wow. Man. Did the uncle at least so buy glad. you guys some booze? If free for all didn't come in your life, where would you be? I would have been the 40 year old virgin. Yeah, I, I really, you know, and now you're not. And, um, well, the guy ended up being terrible. Living but, my hey, best life. Congratulations. Yeah, it was very fun. <laughs>